Recently, I got a comment asking if I was able to do a review of a state transit CB60. With the ongoing situation, I won't be heading to Sydney for a little while, and I don't take requests as I just don't have the time to do them. But since they did ask nicely, I might just have the next best thing. Enter the Newcastle Transport Volvo B12 BLE, fitted here with a custom CB60 body. Prior to the Keolis Downer takeover, Newcastle buses were a division of state transit, so I'm pretty close to that request brief. Newcastle CB60s were built between February 2003 and June 2005 and are still the largest single type of vehicle in the fleet. Their use on route service is starting to reduce as newer Volvo B7 RLE in both Fulgrin and Bustec flavours, B8 RLEs and of course the Euro 5 B12 BLEs are also available in sizeable quantities. Still, these older Volvos are much easier to catch than the B10 BLEs or the BCI City Rider 12. If you're familiar with state transit buses, you'll know that some features just rarely change, like their graffiti pattern fabric, which has been in use for almost 30 years. And predictably, it's fitted to this Volvo. But judging by some B12 BLEs I've caught whilst living in Newcastle, graffiti has spread well beyond the fabric pattern. Still, the seats have a deep cushion and offer great comfort, which is nice for those longer journeys. The rear seat row, on the other hand, isn't quite as comfortable. But if you look up from the back of the bus, you'll see some air vents. My understanding is they're a form of forced air ventilation, which helps when the aircon is turned off or perhaps broken. Let's talk specs. The earlier B12 BLEs like these ones are rated for Euro 3 emissions. Newer B12s are fitted with Euro 4 or Euro 5 engines. Either way though, the standard output for these Volvos is 340 horsepower and a meaty 1700 newbies of torque, which is plenty for a city bus, so let's have a quick listen now.
It's important to remember that these buses are now getting on in years with even the newest of Newcastle's CB60 bodied Volvos being 16 years old. So a little bit of wear and tear is to be expected. To try and improve their interior appearance, the seatbacks have been covered in a textured metal panelling to prevent tagging. But as a general rule of thumb, the closer you sit to the front, the cleaner these buses are. So let's pop right down the front now and enjoy the view from the sideways seating. There were some other good design decisions made here, as the unpainted stainless steel is a timeless design and it doesn't crack or peel like painted handrails do. The stop bells are conventional, mounted to handrails, or they're under the centre flip-up seat in the sideways seating area. Also in a state transit tradition, they chose to fit separate window panels which makes it easier to swap out than flush fitting glass. As per most state transit products, dual leaf rear doors improve the lighting times and some of the design elements you see here were first tested in the Sitaro and lasted all the way until the last CB60 Evo 2s, like that bus stopping light. I think State Transit followed a, if it ain't broke, don't fix it approach to design, and truth be told, it works. Still, as we head along Derby Street, let's look out the window and watch the world go by. As we round the corner onto King Street, it's time to make my way off the bus and head up the hill home. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you again soon.